Welcome to Royal Canberra Show. It's day five. Well, day five's actually gone. It's actually day six. And anyone who would think it was duck opening, having a look around here at the moment. They say that you've got to get all your ducks lined up in a row, but on Championship Day here today, I hope our competitors have got them all lined up. We've got ours lined up, and if it is duck opening, which I think it is this weekend, the bottom line is we don't have to pluck them at all. Well, it's the biggest day of Royal Canberra Show. It's Championship Day today here on this beautiful Saturday at the Royal Canberra Show. Let's start all the action with our girl on the ground with the live stream. Good morning, Casey. So Stewards just called for the next horse to be on the ready. And as it comes past me, I'll try and sneaky grab the number for everybody. Well, it's a big horse. So it'll be 941 is the nomination. And that's Melissa Harding's Dance in Dakota. So we are watching out here at the moment a really, really lovely workout being displayed by this combination. Of course, Rolex is no stranger to winning championships. So the beauty about our horses being down in this particular ring is we get the opportunity to give you a little bit of a ground view of what I'm seeing down here and an example of what our judge is seeing. It's always different what we see out in the grandstands to what our judge sees and in this circumstance he's judging the horses because this class is our Australian stock horse hack not exceeding 15 hands here because we're on the live stream as well as we're about to announce our winners of our champion large pony hack and we'd love to call forward number 503 now congratulations it's White Acre Black Diamond who's had a magnificent show from Linda Hayes and Vicky Bashotta in the stable down there in Victoria. Well done. Congratulations as our champion large pony hack. Our reserve champion I'd love to call forward now. Please come and join us. At the Avenue of Honour, the Royal Canberra Horseshoe, Mandalay Silk Road, number 814, the Morelli family and Jay Presswich. Congratulations to you. Julie Chris nomination, Marinda, Mr. Matinee, and our sixth ribbon went to 822. And that is Indiana Hogan's with me. Hello, darling. So there you go, everybody. That's our ponies. As I'll move over to our championship now for our little junior riders. If we can flick our live stream up there and watch some of our youngsters at their best. Every equestrian girl's dream is to go shopping, but if you're not an equestrian, you'd still like to go shopping anyway, because take it this way, every girl loves retail therapy, and this is my style of retail therapy. Here, did you know that if you don't happen to be an equestrian, our horses do wear things like false tails. Yes, those beautiful tails that you see down in the ring. We're celebrating Canberra Show for this year, 2020. We've just got to remember that not all that long ago, we weren't too sure where the Canberra show was going to take place because of the fires that were around here and the smoke and of course uh, we honour a certain gentleman who is known to many of you in Patrick Solway. I think it's an absolute pleasure to um, have this opportunity to have been a class in memory of Patrick. Um, known him personally due through the show world and um, I'm very honoured and being able to also be the sponsor for this class, it's um, an absolute pleasure and um, I feel very honoured in his memory. And if you didn't join us the other day, I'll take this opportunity to talk to our judge. Take us through your hunter type and what you're looking for. So my hunter type, I'm looking for a horse or pony that's got a bit of bone, a bit of substance. A horse or pony that could take a child or young adult out hunting in England. So I want stamina, I want to see a good canter, a nice comfortable canter. Over there in the background, she's broken down out there. She's, we put her on live stream, she wasn't going to talk, but she was absolutely in tears. Look, this horse is going places, I think. Um, yeah, he just keeps blowing us away. Like we've had him since he was um, six months old, and we've always thought he was beautiful. But you sometimes think you're biased. Um, it's been a very, very long journey, but he's now just becoming such a pleasure, and he's so beautiful to ride. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause as we're about to sash our best millinery winner here at the Royal Canberra Horse Show for 2020 goes to Keeley. 